Hey guys, welcome to The Strong Young Man. Strong men are reliable and they follow through. They are good to their word and they contribute to society. Strong men have your back in a fight. Strong men control their emotions and they don't let their emotions control them. Strong men are leaders that other men look towards to lead. Women observe other men looking at strong men for leadership and this high status increases the attraction that she has for them. Women prioritise selecting the strongest man that they have access to for mating opportunities because a strong man has a greater potential to produce stronger offspring, which ensures that her bloodline survives. Both men and women want a strong man to be their leader. In order to be a leader, you need to be a strong man. You need to be able to shake the idea of being liked by everyone. You need to be able to make unpopular decisions which serve your group. You need to be able to do what is right to ensure that the tribe survives threats from external sources. This is what it takes to be a strong man, and being a strong man will allow you access to high quality women. Nice men, on the other hand, are ignorant and weak. In fact, the word nice is actually derived from the Latin word necius, meaning ignorant, unaware, and invalid. In the Middle English Dictionary, the word nice means lazy and strange. You do not want to be a nice man. Nice men are ignorant and weak because they bend to the will of others. They always strive to please everyone and as a result they neglect themselves and their society. Nice men don't have what it takes to fight. Nice men hate conflict and this is not the way to lead. Females know inherently that nice men do not make the best selection for mating. Males know that a nice man is not the best selection for leading. Being a nice man is a sure way to reduce your status in society and that is not a good place to be in. You must do what you can to transition into a strong man if you are a nice man. We have way too many nice men in society today, driven by the current state of the world which revolves around trying not to offend anyone. Teeming with vasopressin, these nice men, these social justice warriors and left-wing political activists are too concerned with offending people that they remove all the offensive material. Society is setting itself up for a catastrophe in the near future. With all men being wiped out, who will be there to save us from the brave new world that we are creating? We are becoming more and more like the dystopian society that Aldous Huxley predicted nearly 100 years ago. We have a strong man crisis, where there are a limited number of strong men available, which we need to protect us against physical danger such as fighting in wars, or to become a leader who will advocate for an entire country against something like totalitarianism. Nice men are not capable of doing a good job of this role. They are too concerned with pleasing everyone. Neither are most women, who prioritise their relationships over power and influence. As a man, you should work on yourself until you become a strong man. This starts by shaking the notion of wanting to be liked by everyone. Another thing to be cautious of is that in marriage, some women try and change their man into a nice man by reinforcing behaviour that goes against a strong man's nature. They try and change a man's behaviour to align with what they idealise as masculine. Paradoxically, what they are reinforcing is actually the opposite of the positive masculinity they are attracted to. The overwhelming masses of nice men are the direct result of the feminization of men. This is the same concept that was supposed to equalise men and women with a level playing field in order to make the world a better place. Only the world became worse. As Rollo Tomasi puts it, it turns out that women didn't know what was best for them based on their own inadequate and indifferent solipsistic understanding of masculine nature. Women are frequently complaining that the feminized men that they created are too feminine for them to be attracted to. Once a woman realizes her mistake of transitioning her strong man into a nice man who has become weak, they realize that they are unhappy and the time is ticking down to the end of that relationship. If they are married, they will initiate divorce proceedings in order to find a more masculine man. Women lie and say they want a nice man. What this translates to is that women want a strong man who is capable of leading them. Women also want that strong man to be kind and gentlemanly in his dealings, which a strong man should do. But women want that same strong man to be direct and fierce and impose his needs on others as the time arises. When this is required, nice men become weak and they fold. Don't let this happen to you. Stay true to yourself and don't let your woman change you into a nice man. Here is a finishing thought. It is better to be respected than to be loved. Men love women more than they love themselves, but they respect strong men more than they respect women. People love what is innocent, but they respect what protects us. You can accomplish more by being respected. When you accomplish something, suddenly everyone is glad to be around you and eager for a share of the credit. This will bring you love. This is the only way to be loved as a man. You cannot obtain love by appearing innocent in the same way that you could if you were a woman. For a man, chasing respect will inevitably bring you love, but chasing love will always come with disrespect. Thanks for watching today's episode. In episode 4, I'll be talking about male and female value in the sexual marketplace. Subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when it drops. Catch you then.